Hey, welcome back. I'm Mark and this is Chase Your Taste. Hey, before we get started, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and that little bell let you know when I post a new video. Hey, it's football season. So today I'm gonna make two types of egg rolls. I'm gonna make a Southwest egg roll and I'm gonna make a Philly cheesesteak egg roll. So what do you say we get to cooking? All right, well here's our ingredients for our, both of our egg rolls that we're gonna make. So for our Philly cheese steaks, we have some uh, steak, and you can use your favorite steaks. These are some thinly cut ribeye steaks. We got some provolone. We got some uh, garlic and herb seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, and the onions and the pepper we're gonna cut up and divide in between the two and then uh, some salt and pepper and then for our southwest egg rolls we've got some corn about a cup of corn we got our chicken that i boiled now when i boiled the chicken i boiled it with some uh, fajita seasoning and some uh, chili and onion seasoning and i boiled that and got it down and then i shredded it up uh, got our cheese and got our cumin, garlic, jalapeno, and of course the salt and pepper again, and the egg for our egg rolls. And there's our egg roll wraps. So let's start getting them together. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our onion and our bell pepper and our jalapeno. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut up our onion. So, I'm not gonna try to tell you how to cut up an onion. All right, so we're gonna cut the top and the bottom off. And then I've got me a little trash here. Put everything in this trash. And I cut it in half. Our onion. Set this aside. We'll clean our clean our bowl, our plate off, our cutting board off. Got that cleaned off so like I said we're gonna split this in between <clears throat> excuse me both um, egg rolls so we'll cut it up into small pieces And a sharp knife is your friend. All right. So we'll need something to put that in. All right. Put that over here. All right, another half. All right, we got our Onion chopped up. Get that onion out of there. All right. Okay, so we got our onion hot chopped up. We'll set that aside. And I'm going to clean my bowl up, or my cutting board off here real quick.
Get it dried off. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our red bell pepper. So put that in. All right, so we'll take that, set that aside, put that in the trash. waste any of this. There we go. And I washed my bell pepper off earlier, so I don't need to wash it. All right. So we'll take Now, the reason why I'm using a red bell pepper just add a little color to the uh, egg rolls. I mean, you can use a green pepper, green bell pepper, or you know whatever pepper that you want to use. That'll give it a little bit of color. And these will be end up cooking down a little bit. And I forgot to mention on the ingredients. I also uh, got about a cup of um, spinach for our Southwest egg rolls. All right, let's turn around, we'll get these chopped up. Just like that. And like I said, a nice sharp knife is your friend. So try to keep your knives sharp. It's also, I found out that a dull knife will cut you quicker than a sharp knife. That is true. I've seen it happen. <laughs> so, all right. Messed one, didn't we? All right. All right. We're gonna use this top part too. And just cut it and. you get them fingers out of the way. Notice when I get close to my fingers, I slow down. And I keep my knife sharp. It doesn't take much to slice into me. Okay, next thing we're going to do is our jalapeno. Pull that away. Now, if you want to, you can use uh, gloves on these. We're going to seed this. And the best way I found to seed it, get you a small spoon, go over the water. Run some cold water, and then we're just going to take our spoon and run it down our jalapeno. And that's what it's going to look like. All right. Just like that. Doesn't, <coughs> excuse me. Doesn't take much. And then we're just going to cut these up too. Now, if you don't like jalapenos, leave it out. All right. I 
All right. And just like that, we have all our vegetables cut up and ready to go. Okay, so for our uh, our Philly cheese steaks, now you can, like I said, you can use whatever steaks you want. These are ribeyes. Uh, they're thinly cut ribeyes. Um, it, this just happens to be my preference of steak. So we're just going to take it and we're going to slice it up. It looks like our uh, green is going this way. So we're going to actually going to cut into strips and then we'll cut smaller pieces because I mean, it's not, we're not going to put it on bread. We're going to put it in a egg roll. So we need little smaller pieces. So once we get that cut up, that way then we're just going to turn them around this way and we're going to make smaller pieces and I'm not taking all that fat off that's going to help with the, the flavor and you don't want them very big all right that looks looks like a good size there all right yes that looks good uh, we need to get a bowl or something to put those in so we can season them up. Alright, we're just going to drop them off into here. And this other one, same way. We're just going to make little strips first and then we're just going to cut them into uh, smaller pieces now this is the first time that I've made these and this is just going to be a series of uh, game day either appetizers or finger foods or something you can make on game day stuff I think of and try to find a good recipe adjust it to what I like sink here and then there's our meat so we're going to season our meat up so that it can marinate we'll put some salt in there on it a bit of salt some black pepper Some onion powder. Now I'd give you the measurements and I'll put that in the comments. But usually I just eyeball it to what I like. That's what most people do anyway. All right, and then I'm going to use some of this uh, garlic and herb seasoning. just going to get in here with nature's mixer and get them all nice and mixed up make sure everything gets a little bit of coating it smells really good all right so we're going to pop these back in the fridge and let them uh, marinate and then we'll rock and roll on something else all right, so the first one we're going to do is our chicken southwest egg rolls. So the first thing we're going to do is get our, uh, I've got my 
oil heating up. So I'm going to put some onions in there. So we start getting them cooked down. And if you don't want so many onions, don't put as many onions in there. But uh, and then I'm going to put half my bell peppers in there. And we want to get these cooked down. Let me take a little more of those off. All right. Alright, so we're going to get those, start cooking those down. Run out a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Alright. Stir it up. So that's about a cup, about a half a cup of onion, half a cup of uh, bell peppers. And then we're going to toss those uh, jalapenos in there. I got my hands washing, I only have to wash them again because of the jalapenos. Alright, look at all that color. And that's what the red bell peppers are for because I knew I was going to use some jalapenos which gives me my green. So we got some red in there and that white onion. All right. So once those get cooked down, we'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> so our vegetables are getting cooked down. Our onions are getting translucent. So next thing I'm going to do the uh, sauce. I just want a little bit more liquid. So the uh, liquid that I used that I had when I made my uh, boil, when I boiled my chicken. I'm just going to get a little ladle full on there, just put a little bit in there. And that's just going to cook away. You don't have to do that. Oh, that smells good. So the next thing I'll put in here, I'm going to put in my corn, about a half a cup of corn. And this is just frozen corn. Get that stirred up. Now I haven't put my garlic in there yet because I didn't want my garlic to burn. So we're going to go ahead and dump our garlic in there. Get that stirred up. And turn the fire down a little bit. All right. I'm going to throw in our spinach, about a half a cup of spinach. Like I said, I forgot to put that in there in, in the, when I told you about what was in it. Oh, and that just looks delicious. Now we need some cumin. Now, cumin will go a long way, so don't, go, don't get overzealous with the cumin, about a, about a table about a teaspoon of cumin. Get that stirred up. This smells delicious. Okay. So I've decided that I want it to have a little bit more of a kick. And you can leave this part out. And this wasn't part of the uh, recipe. But I'm going to put some of these uh, some of these ground chilies with fried garlic in there. Try to give it a little bit of a kick. All right. Get that stirred in. Now, at this point, uh, the recipe called for uh, black beans. I don't care for them. I mean, I'll eat it if it has it in there, but I'm not going to put any in. So now we're going to add our chicken, and we're going to add about a cup of this chicken. That's about about a cup, give or take. Get that mixed up. I'm going to wash my hands real quick here. All right. Oop, I 
off some corn. Get back in there. All right. Oh, come on, Mark. Make a mess. Okay, we got it all mixed up. I'm going to taste it here real quick. Before I add the cheese to it. And that look good. All right, let me get... Get a fork here, give this a little bit of a taste. Make sure I got enough salt. That's good. <clears throat> yeah, that's got a little bit of a kick to it too. Yeah, that's really good. So, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and shut this off. And then uh, I'll put it in on another bowl and we'll add our cheese and get it mixed up. All right, well I decided not to work dirty up another dish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the cheese to this. And I left the fire out. I'm gonna get all that cheese in there. Now I'm just using a Mexican blend cheese. You can use whatever cheese that you want. This is what I just happen to have on hand. So we're gonna get this nice mixed up. transfer this over to a to another dish because I'm gonna clean this pan up and we're gonna do our chili or I'm sorry our Philly cheesesteak egg rolls all right that looks delicious all right here we go This is just so we can we we'll let this sit and cool a little bit while we're making our chili. I keep saying chili, I don't know why. Our Philly cheese steaks. All right, and there's that. All right, now we're back. Now we're going to start with our uh, our Philly cheese steak filling. We're going to add a little bit of oil in here. Just a little bit. I'm gonna throw in our steak. Get that start going. that off a little bit because we're going to use that same plate. Okay. All right. And a little bit more oil. And this gets done just about halfway done, then we'll start throwing in our onions and peppers. Mm, this smells good. Throwing in some onion. Rest of our peppers. A little salt and pepper. Put this 
all cooked up. And be right back. All right, <clears throat> here's our filling for our Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Looks good. And I did do a taste test, and this tastes really good. It's got enough salt and pepper in it, enough seasoning. Um, whatever seasoning profile you want to use, you can use. You can even add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce into this. That'll give it a little different uh, taste to it. Um, just however you want to do it. So we'll turn the fire out from underneath this, and we're going to put this in the, another bowl and uh, get ready to make our egg rolls. Our filling for Philly cheesesteaks. All right, doesn't that look good? All right, so now we just need to get set up to make our uh, egg rolls. All right, our first one we're going to make, we're going to make our one of our uh, Philly cheesesteaks. So we're going to take some uh, provolone, we're going to lay it in here, we're going to actually use two pieces of provolone, and then some of our filling. Just like so. Then we're going to take our egg wash. I'm going to rub some egg wash. This is just going to seal it along the edges. Just like so. Then we're going to take one edge pull it over we're going to bring the other corner and this is how it seals it up bring the other corner over bring this corner over and then we're going to continue to roll it and just like that and that's our egg roll for our first one set it aside now I'm going to show you how to make the uh, southwest egg roll done the same way except we're not going to put no cheese on it this time so we're going to take some of our filling because it's already got cheese in it so we're going to put that along the middle there and you can put as much as you want well I can't say that you can't put as much but all right we're going to add our egg wash along the edges. Fold one end over. Tuck that in. Fold another one over that in, bring it over, and you're just going to take and roll it tight, and there you have it, Southwest egg roll. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of my uh, egg rolls, and when we get ready to fry them up, we'll be right back. Yeah, that one exploded on me. All right, this one's good. Roll this one over. Roll this one over.
Looking good though. Alright, let's take a look at the other side. Yeah, that looks good. Looks like that exploded a little bit too. So we're going to take these out. going to make up our southwest egg rolls. Got those in, be right back. Alright, let's roll these over and check them real quick. Oh yeah, getting them nice and brown. These didn't burst open like the Phillies did. Alright, we're going to cook them on this side, get them golden brown, and we'll be ready to put the other ones in. Alright, let's check these. But they're done. Oh, look at that. that. That's the way I wish those other ones would have turned out. But, hey, it is what it is. Put up on there. That looks good. Now I'm just putting them on some uh, on a paper towel so they'll drain. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to put these last five in there. Oh, almost got me that. That one will have to be last. Boom, boom, boom! This one came apart, so we'll wait last to put that in there in case it blows up on us. Alright, we'll get these uh, cooking up, come right back, and we'll take a look at them. Alright, let's flip these over, see what they look like. They look like they're starting to turn brown on me. Doesn't take very long, not getting into the walls nice and hot. Oh, that looks good. Alright. Alright, so we got them done. Here's our egg rolls. So we're going to cut into a couple of them. One of each. Alright. This is going to be a uh, Southwest. And this one should be a uh, Philly cheese steak. So let's get our knife. Nice little crunch. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. And that's what they look like. So let's give it a try. I made a uh, Chipotle. Um, ranch dressing so we're going to try this one in it all right so now we're going to give our uh egg rolls a try the first one i'm going to do is the southwest egg roll this is it right here so and this is my uh sauce that i made dip that in a little bit That's good. I like that one. Let's give that uh, 
egg roll. Now this is one of them that busted open. Mm. That's good too. Um, dip that in a little bit of ranch. That's really good. So, you know, give them a try. This is good for a game day. In today's game, uh, OU's on right now, so I'm fixing to go watch that. So, um, give these a try. Let me know how you like them. And hey, and don't forget, chase your taste.